Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Got a very positive update regarding the injury to Malcolm Marks after it was confirmed yesterday that he had um, sustained a fractured tibia in the test against Ireland down in Durban. And a very controversial one because of the double crock roll that he was on the receiving end from Kaelin Doris and then James Ryan. With Kaelin Doris having got a yellow card, lots of people complaining about the fact that that there should have been a higher sanction and that more action should have been taken um, regarding that challenge, which uh, we assume is the incident that caused the injury and um, that is keeping Malcolm Marks out. But the good news is, is that while initially uh, people were very fear, um, fearful about how long term the injury is, um, apparently it's not going to be as long as initially expected and he could be back during the rugby championship, which is amazing news uh, for the Springboks. Before we get into it, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so we know Malcolm Marks has just come back from a long-term knee injury, which is why when that crop roll happened on, on Saturday, I think so many fans were, were so outraged about it. First of all, the crop roll itself has been outlawed, um, which is why Kevin Doris got a yellow card. Should there have been some higher sanctions? Well, we spoke about it on, on the podcast between two fans, um, which will come out later today. Myself and Dan having looked at the incident, uh, and I maintain, I think James Ryan was actually a lot worse than what Kevin Doris. Kevin Doris sort of slipped and then sort of fell onto Malcolm Marks' uh, leg. Whether it was intentional or not, you know, we'll never know. You know, pictures don't look good, but you don't know for certain that that was sort of the, the intent from the player itself. Um, whereas I think, you know, James Ryan came in and performed what is basically a textbook crop role. Uh, and again, on a player who's just come back from a long-term knee injury, there's a reason this has been outlawed. And I think there's an frustration in that, especially if that was the incident that's caused the injury, which we assume, I mean, it's very likely that is the case. This is why it was outlawed. Why wasn't the sanction higher? You know, we, we talk about how, you know, people are, the refs are so quick to hand out red cards for, you know, accidental head contact. Any sort of head contact is deemed as foul play. And then we see a textbook example of something that has been outlawed because of how dangerous it is. And the sanction isn't particularly high. Uh, people are calling out for citing, for example. I don't think we're going to see a citing. I don't, I don't even know if there is the you know, protocols to be able to cite him uh, afterwards because it was checked by the TMO and cleared him with a main yellow card. Yeah, I think he got away with one there. Again, I think actually James Ryan probably should have got a harsh sanction as far as I'm concerned. Um, but the good news is, is that initially, you know, we, when you hear the word, you know, fracture tibia, we're now thinking, sure, but that sounds proper serious. This is going to be weeks and weeks, if not months. Um, but that apparently is not the case because the veteran journalist, uh, Hendrik Kunia, uh, who's always in and around the box setup, um, saw him in the team hotel and uh, said that, uh, well, apparently confirmed that he is struggling with a... Uh, a fracture in his tibial plateau, but um, said that he saw him in the hotel yesterday, did not look in any noticeable discomfort, and it looks like it'll be a two to three week um, sort of a comeback rather than a six to eight week. Uh, so chances are it will rule him out of the Australian tour, um, which the first test is on the 10th of August, I think it is 10th of August, and uh, I think it's a week later, or it could be the first weekend of August, I'm going to have to confirm that, I think it is... Um, yeah, 10th of August is when it does start. 10th and 17th of August uh, is the is the, uh, um, the, the Australia tour. And uh, so it looks like, you know, he might be in a bit of a rush to try and get uh, and be involved in that. Um, it will almost be three weeks today, which will be the Wednesday uh, before that test. So, yeah, it will be just over three and a half weeks um, until, uh, uh, you know, if you were to, to make that... Um, that 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 first test against Australia, but chances are, you know, you probably won't risk him against Australia. Get him fully fit and release him against New Zealand, hopefully. So it's good news, you know, because it obviously is not as serious as initially thought. And uh, I think we need to be very careful the way we manage Malcolm Marks. Hadn't had any rugby coming into this series, uh, you know, managed to get some minutes uh, over the last couple of games, and uh, now we'll, you know, we'll need to manage very carefully once again. We want to get him back into the best. We also want to prolong his career. We don't want to sit there rushing him back unnecessarily. Um, him picking up injuries and we sort of shorten the length of his career because we are very much looking now, especially in the likes of some of Malcolm Marks who, who currently is, you know, 30 years old, going into the next phase of his career. You know, he's definitely got another World Cup in him, for example, um, maybe even to if we really were to push hard, but it's about managing him properly. It's about making sure he remains fit and he remains at his best and that he can play rugby for as long as possible. So uh, I don't think there should be any reason, for example, for the incident to not really... Um, you know, make a difference. I think we need to make sure that we really hone on about, and, and that's maybe the job of the media to make sure that we'll like, we notice the incident, how it's handled, as well as, you know, what maybe the consequence should be moving forward. 
Uh, but from a short term, a spring market fan point of view, he should be back in August and, and hopefully he'll be back to, to close to his best, which is what we need from him because we are missing a lot of big players. PSG Toy race against time against the All Blacks. Sounds like Franco Martin is out of the rugby championship, but Kenny Moody hopefully coming back very soon. Damien Willemser will still wait to see when he'll make a, a, a return. Uh, Jasper Visa will come back during the rugby championship after his back. Cameron Harnacombe hopefully uh, will be fit again soon. Uh, Edelfan Amerva hopefully will be fit again as well towards the middle to back end of the rugby championship. But um, yeah, let me know what you thought about that that tackle and what the, the, the consequences should be down in the comments below smash the like on the video subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon